Hey there. In this video, I want to show you how to add some audio equalization to a Camtasia project. I'm using Camtasia 2021, and as of this version, Camtasia still doesn't have its own native equalization features, but you can use your own audio program by exporting the data from your project and then re-importing it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here now. In this example, I have a short video that I made of a programming project, and I want to fix up the video. I'm working with a new lavalier mic, and I'm not completely satisfied with the sound on it, but it's good enough with a little bit of enhancement in Audacity that I can use it. So what I'm going to do, we'll just assume that all the video editing is done, you've put in all your transitions, and you have the video where you want it, which is the point at which I would recommend doing this. And what I'm going to do is come over here to Export, and Export Audio Only, and I'm going to save this to my desktop, and a folder on my desktop, and I'm going to name it as audio. And that's going to take just a second to export that. And then I'm going to bring up Audacity. It's a very useful, free audio editing program. And I'm going to open the file in Audacity. File, open, audio mp3. And then I'm going to apply the effects that I want. So let's go to Effect and Equalization. And of course you have to select the audio, audio first. Effect and Equalization. And here I'm using Trouble Boost, which is really the problem I have. The, to me, the sound seems a little bit muddy. Maybe needs a little bit higher frequency on it. So I'm going to use Trouble Boost and click OK. It's going to take just a second. And then I'm going to just resave it, export as MP3, and go to audio MP3, already exist, yes. And that's it for Audacity. So let's come back to Camtasia and let's go ahead and import that audio file. So we're going to right click on the media bin, import media, and select it. Then we're going to come down here and I'm going to right click on the track containing the audio and I'm going to select separate audio and video and that's going to separate the audio into its own separate track which I'm going to go ahead and delete because we're getting rid of the old audio and then I'm going to drag the new audio down here and it's synced right up because again the assumption was that I finished all the video edits beforehand, so we're just re-importing an audio file of the same length. Now it's a little bit difficult to actually demonstrate the difference in the sound while recording Camtasia itself, but if you try that, it's, it's a real quick solution that you can try out on your own, and I hope it works for you. Have a great day.